Bladder cast, like and subscribe. You know they say passion comes and goes. The drive, what, what is it? The drive or passion or the feeling of wanting to do stuff comes and goes. It actually does. And you do get burnt out if you do something for too long. Unless you're like a psycho. That's why uh, it's kind of good to be a psycho, but not like a, a bad psycho. You have to be a good psycho and put it towards good stuff. And um, not get entangled with the wrong people because some people will see your work ethic and they will hate you because it makes them look weak. I, I've dealt with every fucking little stupid reason why people hate you in this life. And it, uh, uh, not really the love parts. I haven't had as much love as I've had hate and that isn't a boo-hoo kind of thing, that's just a I've lived uh, and I'm actually lucky that I've had many uh, experiences and situations at this age because I, I, uh, you can always tell when someone's a mark or you can always tell when someone's like had too much of an easy life they're, uh, they're it's a little weird, it, they're not dumb uh, experience changes people. I think it's good to have as much experience as you can and it like it breaks some people and it makes other people. It's like I uh, I need a bunch of experience on a whole range of subjects like uh, sparring. I need to do way more sparring but the, the problem is, is I've, I've gone up to a bunch of people and said uh, do you want to spar a bit more? Do you want to do more stuff? Uh, and people are always too busy. They're always too busy in their lives. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be listening to um, Morrissey's song. Eh? He's, gonna, he's talking about how people are always too fucking busy. We're not busy. You could die tomorrow and all of uh, your plans and everything doesn't fucking matter. No one ca uh, no cares about me. Only I care about myself. No one cares about me. Yeah. I'm going to cry. Fucking, I just want clones, like uh, Star Wars. I want my, I want a clone war, and I want all the clones to be modeled after me, and I want to fight all of my clones. I want to fight myself, and I want holograms as well, physical holograms that I can fight, and uh, that can train me to be uh, better. I don't want to go up to random people and fight. I'm not an idiot. I'm not looking to cause chaos and. Well, I, in certain situations, I do look to cause chaos, but in terms of, like, natural day-to-day -day life, I want it to be uh, pretty easy. I don't want to ruin anybody's life or ruin people's, uh, you know, peace and quiet. And everyone deserves to not have crazy people in their lives. But when it comes to training, I need a lot of experience, a fuck ton of experience, like years more. And I want to have a fresh body as well. And um, training with some people is it's hard to do. Uh, it's really hard. Because they want to actually break your bones. And they actually want to cause you damage. And they can smile and say that they're your friends. I actually like people who are angry at you to start off with. Because then I know like uh, the dichotomy of the relationship. If someone's being fake and smiling in your face and then they're uh, uh, like if they get you on the ground they're hammer fisting you even when you say stop they're trying to get like cheap shots in or or uh, when you're having like a, a spar and you're going hard but then they start throwing elbows and trying to you know gouge your eyes and grab inside your ass and all this stuff it's, it's stupid I think training should be uh, you shouldn't really feel stress you shouldn't feel stressed when you're fighting, when you're training, when you're doing anything. It should be peace. But there's a lot of stressful situations as well. And I guess it's not good to be uh, in a stressful situation all the time, but you have to be in stressful situations to understand how you will function under stressful situations. I want to fucking smack Darren Till across the face and uh, look at him and say, Boy, you fucked it up. How are they ever gonna uh, let him fight for a world championship now? He's gonna be like 40 
by the time he gets to try again. He's gonna be, he's gonna have a Michael Bisping story as well. He's gonna end up being the next Bisping. The UFC needs the one British guy. Well, they, they've got like two British guys. They've got what's his name, Dan Hardy as well. Who's um? Who's the actor who did Bronson and Taboo and um? What's his name? Hardy. Tom Hardy. I haven't seen Tom Hardy for a while. The, uh, Venom Two is coming out like this year or next year or something. I need a. Tom Hardy needs to get back into some acting roles. We need more British people. We need to prove that we're not uh, like uh, degenerate people. We need to prove that we're not like uh, troglodytes. Because we are from a small, um, well, it's not small, but uh, geopolitically, it is a small country. We're from a small island, and uh, you're, you're damn straight. There's a lot of inbreeding going on around here. You don't fucking even know. I've seen too many uh, weird people. I'm not making fun of disabled people. That's all. I'm talking about weird people. One eye is up here, and one eye is down there. And their nose is on their forehead. You like, you put your trousers on the wrong way. That's not funny. I'm not funny. I'm a comedian. Mr. Styles. What was that, Boys in the Hood? Ugh. I'm not a rapper. Boom, bam, bap, bada, bap, boom, pow. The thing goes great. Fucking. I. Wish I had fans. Wouldn't it be cool if you had fans? Wouldn't it be cool to uh, have uh, stalkers, have people judging you all the time? Wouldn't it be cool to have people sending you weird things, and then if you don't like uh, appreciate it or don't uh, put it on a video or whatever, or thank them, then they turn into uh, hateful little twats, little ticks. People who think that they owe, uh, that I owe them something just because they've been a fan for years. And if I don't give them the interaction that they specifically want, then I am uh, I suddenly everything that I've ever done that's good is bad. And all of, uh, well, what is it with like uh, people where we're judging each other all the time? I, I find it hard to judge people. I mean, I have to judge people on a survival instinct. Like, don't go with that fucking person or you're going to get stabbed. Don't do shit with that. Or do shit with that woman because she'll, uh, she's sexy. But, um, life is stupid. Quit. Listen to Cemetery Gates by Morrissey. And um, be angry at him for wanting to fuck Oscar Wilde. Then listen to the song that he did with James Dean. I watched Rebel Without a Cause. That's a cool film. It's uh, It had some cool... It was like... Uh, it kind of had some modern... Uh, I was going to say motifs. It was more modern than... What was that? In the 60s or the 50s? When did it come out? I think it came out... Yeah, I don't know if it came out in the 50s or the 60s, but it had it had action, and it, it, had, it had the characters. I mean, I, don't, I know a bit about cinema history and film, but I need to know way more. Like, I need to get on uh, all of the old stuff. I haven't really watched uh, a bunch of stuff from, I mean, The Twilight Zone, and... Uh, uh, films here and there like Psycho and His Girl Friday and The Third Man and Chinatown and things like that. But Chinatown's like from the 70s or something. I need to get on my old films. I need to get on that shit. I mean, I will. As long as I don't die before like the age of fucking 40. I wonder, I wonder how I'm going to die. I'm sitting recording one of these videos and then my loving fans are going to come and it's going to be in the future, so everyone's going to be fat and, like, uh, ADHD and 
I deprived of technology the second they uh, see me they're gonna think that I'm some sort of uh, like I'm their personal entertainer they're gonna run up to me and tackle me and try and eat me the state that human beings are fucking going everyone's gonna be fat and weak and that's good for me that means that I get to uh, oh, no wait a minute uh, mas uh, male to uh, toxic masculinity cis male white people bad it's, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad as well. I'm gonna be banned. You're gonna lock me up in a fucking cage. Here's an old human being. Relatively old. I don't wanna be old. I wanna get the stem cell treatment. I'm gonna steal spinal fluid from you and I'm gonna put it in my body to make me stronger. Even if my body doesn't use all of it. My body's only gonna use like 0.1% of it and you're, you're gonna be in a wheelchair but it's gonna be worth it just to fix like my elbows. From doing jujitsu for years and like surviving arm bars. Someone nearly, uh, a guy called Paul nearly got me in an arm bar. He's a fucking tough bastard. He's nearly a purple belt. And I fought some, I fought all uh, kinds of belts. Fought. I trained with all kinds of belts. And um, it's, it's always good. But uh, you can tell when some people just have more fire than other people. And it's weird because, like, uh, I've had more fire when I was early, uh, when I started, and then when I realize how hopeless it is, you just lose it completely. When you've burnt out like uh, a bunch of times and you're still doing it, you realize how hopeless it is, and you, uh, and even if you're uh, say that you didn't quit, you've quit. Even if you think that you're improving, you never improve, and you just have to keep on doing it until you die. And that's what I'm doing. Red belt. I'm getting my red belt. I'm changing my name to uh, Robert Garcia. Yeah, Gracie. No, Gracie. Robert Marcelo Garcia. Thank you. Marcelo Garcia. My um, instructor, one of my instructors trained with him for a bunch of times. And he always gets mad whenever I make fun of Marcelo Garcia. And I don't really make fun of Marcelo Garcia. I just say I like I'm going to beat him up in a fight. He'd kill me so fast. He'd kill you so fast. He'd kill everyone. Marcelo Garcia, if you ever, even if Marcelo Garcia ever even like uh, shows me, like that he has a single feeling about me, like if I'm in his neurons, if I take up even a, a single a bit of his neuron, I'm be like, this is a crazy world. Isn't it crazy that like uh, if you really want, you can put yourself in someone else's head for even like a tiny little neuron? Isn't it crazy that we can? Uh, what, what reality is and I'm not even smart and I don't even sound smart ever when I listen back to what I'm saying I'm a, I'm not a, the worst but I'm a, one of the usual suspects when it comes to being dumb I'm half British so I've got uh, the Russian side and I've got the British side the British side is uh, I've seen so many people that look like my dad inbreeding I've got, I'm half inbred, and then the Russian side is just addiction to vodka and uh, insanity. Because, I mean, uh, my bone structure, and uh, the way that I am, I'm like six foot two, I would have been some sort of fucking, like, either a worker or from a royalty, uh, from like a lineage of royalty or something, like Ivan the Terrible or something like that. Good. I need to survive like Rasputin. I, I hope I come from, I hope in my bloodline I'm related to Rasputin. I know I'm from uh, like uh, the Mongolia part of Russia, like close to Mongolia, so I got more Genghis Khan in me than the average fucking person. Genghis Khan. I know where he's buried, and I'm not telling anyone. Of a uh, uh, Mongolian uh, secret agents that are coming for me. I've trained with a Mongolian guy, he was really fat. I want to train with more Mongolian guys. I know they wrestle a lot. They like to wrestle. I think uh, Russians like Russians like fucking wrestling as well. I'm Russians like uh, beating up uh, American wrestlers all the time. I know Gable, Gable the first and Gable the second. Gable the second's like the newer. Uh, he's a black guy and he. Uh, I don't know what he won, but he's in the UFC now or something. He's gonna. What's he doing? Heavyweight. He's going to be smashing motherfuckers if you train that fucking guy because uh, I've seen him like pick up people and smash them on the ground. 
I saw him. Didn't he like throw Ben Askren off off a stage or something? Did he fight? A, did, I don't even fucking know anything. I I just know how to talk a little bit. Okay, fucking. I'm listening to Morrissey and Hatchad and podcasts and enjoying myself. Before I listen, I, there was a whole bunch of shooting. Like I don't know if this is hunting season, if people are like shooting pheasants or whatever, but there was a whole bunch of shooting. I mean, it could have been shotguns, but it could have also been a pistol. Someone's running around here shooting people with guns in Minecraft. <coughs> I got sick again. I mean, I, I, oh, by the way, I did a marathon like uh, one, two days ago or something like that, and I've been drinking all the Monster Energies to like try and know all of the flavors. I, uh, fucking, I'm a human. I've got addictions, I've got wants and needs, and I've got stupid things that I do as well, and I'm out of here, thanks for watching.